Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge weekly meeting. This meeting is a part of Essence of Knowledge program, which is a free and online and complete program for the seekers of the path of knowledge. This meeting is for answering your questions, clearing your doubts, holding the exams and helping you in completion of the program. Anybody who is interested in joining this program can uh, log in on gyanmarg.guru website. It is open to all. All questions are most welcome. Kyanurakta is saying, when is my exam? Whenever you want. Whenever you are ready, you can uh, send me a message and uh, in the next available meeting, we'll schedule your exam. Okay, I think there is a question. Astrologers are able to tell about future and other stuff just by looking at birth chart. That simply means that most of our life is predestined. I think that's why they are able to tell. Otherwise, that's impossible. In Vashishti Yoga, there is mentioned that there is no fate, divine will, only self-effort. Life is predestined mostly very little. Free will is there. At the same time, there is no fate. Yes, it can be very confusing. Sometimes you can also get some information, some intuition about the future. It happens to many people. They come to know sometimes a significant event, sometimes something unimportant, but they come to know the future. This is exactly going to happen and exactly that happens. This is not only astrologer. Common people also experience these events sometimes not every day it is very rare and the more spiritually evolved you are the more will be such events and they prove only one thing that the future is already here what do they prove actually that there is no future if something can be known today which appears to happen tomorrow that means there is no tomorrow what is the conclusion of path of knowledge there is no time. You never experience time. Time is simply a distortion created by the memory. Everything is happening right now. If there is no time, you cannot even say that there is a now. There is no now also. There is no present also. Now it is beyond the intellect. Because intellect understands and operates in the domain of time. But the existence is timeless. You are that existence. You are timeless. So they match. There is no time. But uh, what about uh, the doer? Is there any doer? Is there somebody who does something, has the power to decide and do something? And the path of knowledge again says, there is nobody like this. It is all an illusion. To do something, you need time. If there is no time, nothing can be done. To do something, you need a person, an agency. If there is no person, if the person is false, Nobody is there to do anything. So suddenly everything is clear now that in this illusion things appear. It appears that events are happening. Sometimes it will appear that they are predestined. Sometimes it will appear that I did it. Somebody did it. The doers appear. The actions appear. Actors appear. However, none of this is true. The only truth is it is being witnessed. That witness is you. You can say it like this. I am that witness. Although this saying is also appearing. Ultimately, it just is. And then the mind comes in picture. The mind also appears. Intellect also appears to be operating and understanding. However, nothing like this is happening. And what, it, what does it do? The intellect and the mind, it quotes what is in many, many layers of ignorance. First, it says that I am separate from whatever is happening. Then it says, I am this body-mind. Then it says, I am the doer of things. Then something odd happens in the illusion and it says everything is already distinct. And uh, after a while, it is tangled in this net of ignorance. It is drowned in this mud of ignorance completely. Then something odd happens. Somebody comes and tells them that uh, Look, this is all illusion, this is not happening. Then it gets really confused because whatever it has assumed was believed as truth. Now, if you try to remove that 
whatever the person or this creature thinks as the truth there is a resistance there is a confusion no it cannot be like this whatever i think is the final truth and here we say that this creature is in complete bondage some people may not like this word bondage so we say they are in complete ignorance they are completely entangled in the illusion so on the path of knowledge you remove this these layers one by one and arrive at your true nature which is simply being no doer no actions no past no fate no predestination these are all concepts created by ignorant mind there is nothing here it is all pure being where these pictures and clouds are appearing they are mesmerizing it is like a dream and when you remain in this state we call it a liberated state jeevan mukta you will come to know that there is nothing to know really in this whatever is appearing whatever you will know will be wrong it will be an assumption whatever you are that you are already know only this much and you are freed from all illusion know yourself nothing else is important this is written in that book somebody does this all is a part of this dream even this person who is speaking in this meeting is actually a dream don't think that something really is happening here somebody is teaching you somebody is telling you the truth no it is all false the only advantage the only benefit of this thing which is which you call guru is that it takes you out of the dream it wakes you up from the dream this event in the dream is beneficial because it removes all ignorance in summary you can say that i am here i am appearing to myself as false illusions now whatever is appearing you can say anything you want about it it can appear true it can appear false ultimately it is all false useless this is the level of non duality here there is only being this creature needs to live his or her life and then because the life happens in complete illusion you need to assume some things you need to assume a few things as truth which is called the relative truth or practical truth not absolute truth and then assume that which is most useful for you because everything you assume will be false so why not assume something which is most useful for this creature remember it's not you it is the creature this body mind machine if assuming that actor is real doer is real makes your life happy makes the life of this body mind machine happy and smooth and good beautiful assume that take it as truth if nothing is working and only the predestination seems to be the truth yes that is the truth then follow it completely the only difference between an ignorant person and a knowledgeable person is that ignorant person does not know that these things are false the one who has knowledge one who knows the truth absolute truth has no problem assuming anything as true because they know that it is all happening in the background of truth the illusion is happening on the background of truth the world and event and people and you this human being is appearing on the screen of experiencer brahman waves are appearing on the background of water there is nothing wrong so we go through three stages here first is ignorance assuming whatever is appearing as truth because what else will this creature do it has to survive second dispelling the ignorance here the guru comes in picture guru appears in the dream and breaks the dream third stage is acceptance because there is nothing else except this dream so accept the dream these three steps everybody must take that is complete liberation liberation is not simply discarding whatever is appearing that is half knowledge you the experiencer is always free from illusion the creature will never be free from the illusion so the finally the creature surrenders creature accepts the illusion remember i am saying illusion not ignorance 
do not accept the ignorance accept the illusion as illusion that completes the cycle of spirituality now we say this life is successful this life has achieved its purpose the purpose of the seeker is to know who they are know the truth and the purpose of the creature is happiness and freedom both are achieved nothing more needs to be done also remember that everybody is free to drop out of the program there is no real need to appear in exam and do the rest of the steps if you don't want what is important is knowledge you got the knowledge done you got your answers done you, your doubts were removed yes those who are hardcore those who are determined seekers will complete the program but people sometimes they want introduction only to the path of knowledge and uh, we don't have this kind of rule that you must appear in exam no you can drop out after knowing who you are everything is optional so those who are completely de- determined that yes absolutely this is my path now this will be my life from here today onwards only they should proceed in the program and i keep checking at every step who is progressing i remove people who don't progress because we don't want to waste their time but yes if you clear the exam that will be a big step in your life and rikta is asking is reading books of no use shall we just focus on direct experiences my opinion here is that uh, once you get the knowledge once it is verified for you that means you got the evidence which is direct experience and uh, logic then the books are very useful because they will confirm what you already know that is a very relaxing and enjoying experience that somebody 1000 years ago 100 years ago or somebody random person on youtube not random maybe famous guru on youtube is saying exactly that which you know that which you have experienced which you have uncovered that is very delightful experience you will enjoy the books and uh, if you don't know anything if the basic knowledge is not there then the books can be confusing because how many books are there millions and most of them say something different in different terminology different uh, traditions different things i am not talking about the worldly books here you know how to be successful how to earn money how to make relations better or story books i am talking about the really interesting spiritual books or even philosophy and science they are part of the path of knowledge only so these books if you try to read before knowing through your direct experience they can be confusing sometimes people get attached to the book and they believe the book blindly because sometimes the books are so beautiful especially the old books and that can cause ignorance instead of giving you knowledge the book can give you ignorance because uh, it is difficult to understand what is written there without a guru it will be very difficult on the path of knowledge at least in the field of spirituality first comes knowledge which happens only by the pointing of your guru and then comes the study of scriptures if you want uh, otherwise they are useless because they are they are telling you the same thing same thing is repeated in all the books spiritual books and then comes the study of uh, other books worldly kind of books or something related to illusion like uh, occult books if you are interested many spiritual people are interested in occult the illusion is very interesting it is not boring if it is false does not mean that it is boring actually that is the only interesting thing in the existence the experiencer part is really boring it is nothing zero empty so once you are established in knowledge once you are firmly seated on the seat of truth then you can venture into the world of books practices whatever you want you do it if you do it in under the guidance of somebody who has already done all these things then you will not land in any kind of trouble although we don't guarantee but the adventure will be better if you do it on your own yes slightly risky so again the guru comes in picture so the guru will guide you to the truth and the guru will guide you into the illusion also when we go into the truth we call it knowledge spiritual knowledge essential knowledge 
when we venture into the illusion we call it occult or science one and the same thing so we have already done it you need to simply hold my hand and continue your journey there is it is already served simply eat it is it has been made so easy for everybody yes if you want more adventure you can read the books however my recommendation is when you are doing the program focus on the program so that uh, you get the full advantage of the program instead of getting distracted by this book or that book they will be slightly different they will have their own uh, words meanings sometimes they will have their own truths some book will say this is true other will say that is true and the person uh, then gets uh, totally lost so what i recommend is if you have taken the program it is a discipline program discipline is of the intellect so focus it completely on the program after you finish it do whatever you want once you once the intellect learns how to be disciplined it will never do anything useless or uh, stupid it will remain disciplined path of knowledge will discipline the intellect you will not fall into the trap of false again because you have the means of knowledge you have the uh, very sound criteria for truth if you remember this much you will not fall into any trap now whatever the book is saying you will understand and you will also understand when the books are wrong yes not all of them are right isn't it you will understand everything that is the sign of a knowledgeable person that you put anything in front of that person they can do the litmus test test they can understand instantly what is true what is not even if the truth is given in a really circular form encoded encrypted way like many of the scriptures are you will be still able to decode them nobody else will understand but you will understand what is being said why because you know you already know remember there is only one truth if you don't find it in the book simply declare the book as useless continue so it is entertaining that's all it is you will learn nothing new this is the end of knowledge nothing new is there to learn in books or in other places it will be entertainment it will be adventure let me find out what happens if i go in this path let me do this practice that practice let me talk to this guru that guru that's all adventure everybody should do it because what else will you do in your life kapil is saying there was a question earlier in this week during progressive elimination when all that can be experienced is discarded what remains and there was a good discussion in the group leading to the essence and the experiencer that leads to still open questions would the experiencer experience the nothingness would no change still be an experience one thing is sure that there is no such thing as nothingness remember we never use the word nothingness we use emptiness or shunya so probably i assume here that you mean emptiness so the good news is experiencer is already experiencing emptiness why do you think there is anything other than emptiness remove nothing and insert empty in your word now it will be perfectly okay according to our terminology the experiencer is already experiencing emptiness which is itself at the level of non duality it is experiencing itself remember nothing else is happening why do you think that experiencer is experiencing something else which is not empty is it true contemplate on this thing there is an assumption in the question that currently i am experiencing something which is not emptiness this is not true second part of the question would no change still be an experience and again the good news is it is already no change whatever you are experiencing is already no change the change appears change appears as a distortion of the memory comparison of two memories that happens in the present once you establish that there is no time can something change we are experiencing unchanging infinite potential only then this potential appears as change due to comparison in the memory comparison is shifting of attention and out of this change the concept of time is invented 
is assumed. So I think Kapil has everything backwards. You are assuming the time as primary. Then you are questioning, can we stop it and then what will be the experience? No, it's already timeless, eternal experience. It is appearing like this. There is no nothingness. It is emptiness. It is Emptiness does not mean zero. Emptiness does not mean a lack. It means full. Emptiness means complete whole. What is that infinite potential? That is what is ha happening. Did you forget all the basic knowledge? So anyway, it is good to ask and it is natural to have these kind of, this kind of confusion because you will forget the essential knowledge. Are you not the existence which is eternal, timeless and experiencing itself as a sea of potential in limited way? This is essential knowledge and you will forget it something sometimes, yes? But then you should go back to the truth. You should ask yourself, what is the meaning of nothingness here? First thing you should ask yourself, that is that the correct word? Did the program mention it somewhere? Once you recognize that I am wrong, correct it. Then put emptiness there. And what is the meaning of emptiness? Is it uh, like uh, lack, non-existence? And then remember the definition of emptiness. It is full of potential. It is completion. It is whole. It is everything. It means everything. So am I experiencing everything? Yes, already. So the question will disappear. And same thing you should analyze about change. Is there a change? Find out. Is anything changing? Change requires time. Is there time? Remember the change is experience. Experience is change. Is seen as change. So the mind will say if nothing changes then there won't be any experience. But that is upside down logic. Experience is seen as change. Remember this thing, the experience is primary, then the mind says something is changing. Why? Because it compares between the past memories. You cannot say past memory, it compares with some other memory, preceding memory you can say. It looks like it appears as if something changed, then it says that things are changing faster, some things are changing slower, some things are changing regularly. It invents time. Experience is primary, things are appearing, remember. Not in time, then everything comes later. What is this experience? It is you. Can you disappear? Never. You are the existence. Will the experience go away? No. It takes time to appear and disappear for something. It is a timeless, eternal appearance, illusion. Hopefully it is clear. Hopefully it is not like a puzzle. Remember that uh, even after thinking for many, many months, if you cannot understand what I said, if you cannot understand why this is, why experiencer and experience and existence are primary, they are fundamental, simply take some other path. Because the mind is not ready to comprehend at this time. Kapil is in the program since, I don't know, probably many years now. So it is absolutely necessary to verify your knowledge, otherwise you will keep thinking like this. It is absolutely necessary to contemplate every day for one hour. That is what is, we made it into a ritual actually. A technique is now available where the intellect will be trained to think about what was heard, listening, contemplating. So I saw that people are lazy, they don't, do not contemplate, they don't want to contemplate. Either they accept everything on faith, yes he said it must be true, or uh, they simply keep asking questions instead of thinking about it, instead of trying to find the answer. They come up with all the doubts, they come up with all the questions and the answers again leave them with many many doubts. So that is not a good way. So we made it into a practice now to contemplate. Contemplate every day on the basics, basic knowledge, essential knowledge. Do it until you become a master of answering every question. When the disciple becomes the guru, the contemplation is over. Otherwise, keep doing it. Even after your exam and your um, awareness practices, you should make it your routine to think about some topic. And yes, you will get in trouble like this, little bit confusion. So that is why we have this satsang meeting. And it is also good for me because I come to know who is progressing. That is why I set up this daily contemplation. We need something to push people into thinking, lazy minds, push them into thinking. Think about 
the, the that which is asked every day now and always return back to direct experience and logic always return to that precise definitions meanings direct experience and you will never get any wrong answer some people are actually amazed by the way i answer everything how is it that it is perfect or almost right every time thousands of questions how is it possible did i memorize all the answers actually i don't even remember the contents of the program which i myself recorded how is it possible because i return to the core always i go back to the core knowledge which is one line <laughs> you don't even need to remember it because you are it you are that and all the answers come from that basic core source which you yourself are i mastered that now i don't need to contemplate anything have you done that have you mastered the path of knowledge not do it this is your opportunity you join the program only to learn these things R- remember i not only give you the answer that will make you more lazy because whatever you ask i tell you ready made answer i also encourage you to find your own answer there is no problem if you come up with the wrong answer because you are student and i did this for many many years i had no program to <laughs> join no weekly meetings the gurus were not this kind of gurus that will answer all the questions so hard work for many years wrong information wrong knowledge see this is struggle of any student and once i discovered the essential knowledge which is the self realization only there was no need to ask anything there was no need to answer anything because it is the key get the key know yourself get the key you will be able to answer everything under the sky you will be able to read all books you will be able to understand all the books provided you know the language you will be able to find all the mistakes in whatever people say now this is real miracle isn't it it is a real miracle if i can do it you can also do it totally depends on how interested you are in your progress right by saying if we keep remembering the truth all illusion and all the stuff all the time it might drive us crazy sometimes i also start to feel weird when i keep remembering it again and again uh, first thing is you don't have to do it that uh, awareness practice is step number 4 so if you go like this without uh, following the system without taking the steps then yes you will become crazy isn't it that is faulty practice when it is not instructed that you do something specific like this and you do it it will be faulty practice it it can make you it, it can make you feel uneasy or confused so first thing is do not do anything which is not told otherwise there is no point of joining the program isn't it now how to do the awareness practice then it is told in step number 4 a precise technique is given there the meaning of awareness is revealed there actually it is revealed in um, step number 2 also but you don't need to do it now what do you need to do now find out if the basic knowledge is correct if the evidence that is presented is right according to your intelligence if it is not there is no point in remembering anything if you think that yes i verified it it is evidence is perfect simply proceed to the step number 4 appear in exam proceed to step number 4 do there whatever you want to do not whatever that which is recommended isn't it then you will not become crazy then it is safe so first thing is if you are feeling weird or something else that is not the right practice nobody told you to do it so do not do it simply do that which the program is asking you to do remember you joined the program because you don't know how to proceed on the path of knowledge and uh, if you don't do proceed or like this then there is no point my suggestion is for everybody do not pick up practices from here and there they can cause problems what happens is people pick up the practice it causes trouble headaches what not and they say this spirituality is totally garbage i don't want any spiritual practice <laughs> I don't want any guru I don't want any path and their progress stops because of one 
bad experience, you will never do it again. So that is the pr- trouble here with people thinking that they are the guru. I'll do my practice. I know what, what I need to do. And that causes a lot of problems. So sometimes it is okay to remember who you are. But it should not be forced. Nobody is asking you to stay aware. Nothing needs to be done. Sometimes I say, how much effort and trouble it will be to remember that you are a woman. Do you feel weird when you suddenly remember that you are a woman? Because that is what you are. It should not take effort. It should not drive you crazy. That is what you are naturally. Now, when you are told that you are the experiencer, not this body-mind which is an illusion, and that is true for you, that is verified truth, just like it is true that you are a woman in this example, then how much effort will it take and how will it drive you crazy? So probably you are doing something unnatural. To be who you are, to know your true nature is most natural. And if it's not happening, something is wrong. And now the Guru must interfere. So wait for the practices. If something goes wrong in the step number four, I'll ask you to fix it, correct it, leave it, or I'll give some other practice. And this is my suggestion to everybody who is listening, because many people listen to this recording also. This is the sign of a faulty practice that it will it will be anything but pleasure. How do you know a practice is suitable for you? It will be pure bliss. It will be enjoyable. It is a great pleasure. Then you know, yes, this is the right practice for me. It comes naturally. You don't have to struggle in it. Yes, you may need some time to learn it, but that that learning is also fun. Who knows the right practice for you? Guru. These are basics of spirituality, isn't it? But unfortunately, many people don't know. You are so lucky that you found something where these things are told. Because I have seen nowadays in ashrams and these institutes or whatever they are called, uh, they are purely commercial. They will take your money and they will give you some practice. Remember, it's not authorized by anybody. Like whatever we are doing here is uh, completely time-tested. Since thousands of years, we are doing this. So they will give any practice. All they want is your money. And uh, nobody asks you later how the practice is going. Nobody is there to answer your question. So we don't want this kind of mess. And uh, therefore, this system is set up like this. What if you cannot do any practice? Then obviously, there is no need to do any practice. It is all okay then. So hopefully everything is clear and uh, I think today's questions are over for now. So we'll end today's meeting here and I'll see you next week. Thank you everybody for attending the meeting. Namaste.